Let's have a look at the Helimix, I guess is how you pronounce this. This amazing glass jar is made in USA. So this is a USA product, okay? A lot of weightlifters, a lot of people that are into um, protein powders, stuff that people that work out a lot are picking this up. Because they'll put the protein powders in it with some milk, some pe and it even mixes peanut butter. And then they'll shake it. And because of that funny looking design, how it twists, it literally creates a mixing tunnel, which in turn mixes everything. And uh, this here pops up, and it goes all the way back. Now, I'm not fussy on this. I mean, it does click. I don't know how good that is. But time will tell. I wish it had something better that locked into place. So, and maybe when you shake it, you might want to put your finger over just in case. I don't know. But I think the, the lid could be better. I do like this here because I can put a carabiner on there, hook it to my knapsack on my side of my strap, and keep it there. But I got a whole new plan for it. I'm not planning to go into the gym and work out with weights. For three or four hours and mix all these protein shakes. My idea with this was can I take the Nido milk that you've seen in the previous video and I'll have a link if you want to go watch that, put it in here and then can I add some chocolate milk? That is so healthy isn't it? Mix it up and now I've got chocolate milk on the trail and that's the idea. I also want to mix some True grapefruit. I do like grapefruit juice. And this stuff is amazing. Zero sugar, zero carbs. I mean, apparently it's real grapefruit. And I'm not sure, because I haven't done this yet. I mean, it does come with quite a few packages. But I'm not sure how many packages I have to put in that to get it to taste. And I kind of want to know that too. Now, the nice thing about this in the last video, you noticed I just took the spoon and put it in and I mixed it. And you really don't want to do that because the spoon's wet and then when you put it back in, it's not good to do that. Where in this situation, I could use my hiking spoon or any spoon. And the spoon's always staying dry in this situation because I'm mixing it like this. So that's what I want to try. So let's go ahead and try this. And I always carry two of these. These are like 40 ounce water bottles on my hip is what I carry. Okay. So we're going to go, I don't know, maybe to there. And that's about halfway. So you, you would do this actually when you're actually filtering your water, you know, with what you're doing. So then we'll add some milk. And I remember last time I added quite a bit to get that milky taste. So, and you'll notice it's got a nice big wide top. So I'm really not making, oh, it's got its own plastic scoop in there. I'm really not making a big mess. So I'm going to go with that. And then uh, I guess I'll mix it first. No, maybe I'll just add the chocolate milk. Wait, why not? Why do that? I'm not just mix them together. Now there is something else I want to test. I have no idea how much of that. But we'll go with three. And then you screw this back on. And I think I'm gonna put my finger on there just in case. And you just shake it. And they say 20 times or so, I don't know. It looks like chocolate milk, don't it? Open this, come back, let's give it a taste. Yeah, that tastes like chocolate milk. That worked out perfect. So literally, I could take some of this in a baggie take some nest quick in a baggie and you know especially in the fall when the water's cold mm. 
and uh, literally have chocolate milk on the trail. So that's awesome. Really, really awesome. Let me drink the rest of this and I'll be right back with you guys. I even gave some to my cameraman and he said, my God, that tastes like good chocolate milk. And it sure does. So this little test worked out. You can literally have chocolate milk out in the bush when you're backpacking. Yeah, you don't need this glass. I mean, you could have any glass and mix it with a spoon, same thing. But this just made it a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster. Now, one thing I do want to try, and I left it dirty on purpose. You notice it still has the chocolate milk in it. Hope you can kind of see that. And what I wanted to do was, can I just add a little water now? And uh, just shake it up and clean it that way. Now you don't want to stick this in a stream and do this. You'd want to filter your water or boil it. Because you'll make yourself sick. It is cleaning it. Okay. So I'll take the lid off. Okay, let me do that again. A little bit more. And I'm not using very much because I'm going on the idea that I'm out in the bush doing this. So yeah, it's extra clean. You do need to do it twice. I did notice it was a little bit, but you do need to do it twice. Okay, so now I want to try the grapefruit. And I want to see... A little more. How many packages I need. Because I'm not even sure. There's nothing on the instructions that says how many of these to use. So this is kind of guesswork. I doubt one is going to do it. And it is laying on the bottom, so it didn't just dissolve like you would want. So I love it when the package don't cooperate. These would be a pain with cold hands. Okay, that's two. Let's see. What happens with two? Uh, heal a mix. Heal a mix. It's sour. It's grapefruit. I think it needs another one. It's pretty close. Now I got a whole bunch of flavors coming in tomorrow. Look how light these things are. And I love grapefruit. Whoops. Gotta shake it up. No stirring, no nothing. Tastes like grapefruit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Now, this stuff ain't bad. It says it only has three ingredients. Each packet contains one grapefruit wedge. 
Zero calories, zero sugars, no artificial sweeteners or preservatives, no artificial colors, gluten-free, non-GMO. Total fat, zero. Sodium, zero. Total, carb total carbohydrates, zero. Total sugar, zero. This stuff's good for you. And this is called True Grapefruit. One package equals one wedge. Okay, so if you want more souriness, add more like I was doing. So, and they're super affordable, I think. This was like, what, eight bucks or something like that. And there's a ton of them in there, guys. Yeah, a ton. I don't know. There are a whole bunch of them. So, I'll definitely be buying some more of that because it's zero sugars. The bottle itself is shipped in this box, which is kind of neat. And uh, basically, I made chocolate milk and lemonade and cleaned it. With one forty ounce of water, is what I did. So, if you want your backpacking water to taste better, and instead of mixing with a spoon, maybe you want to pick up a Hillmox. Now, I want to know. There's no way of that opening the way that's designed. So I see what they did there. It kind of leans forward if it was on the backpack. But I would put my finger over top of it to um, to shake it. I'd be nervous, you know. It does come in different colors. I picked a green top. The tops are just different, that's all. I liked it because it does have the measurements down the side. I liked it because it was clear and easy to see inside of it. That was very important to me. They, there's a bunch of them. All, there's a whole bunch made. And this one's made in USA. And every time I get a chance to buy a USA, I do my best. Now, some of the others were a little bit cheaper by 2 or $3. That's not enough to curve me. You know, I did like the turning design because I figured, yeah, it's probably going to create more of a mixing to it. Now, there's other bottles out there that have a round steel ball they put inside. And then they shake it and the steel ball does the mixing. The problem with taking that backpacking, I'd probably lose that steel ball. And... I don't want to have to clean those little wires. You probably need a toothbrush or something to clean it. This just seemed a, a lot easier to clean and a lot easier to work with. So really, even to have, you know, even to have one of these in your vehicle, you know, find your favorite flavor from True the Company there, and boom, you got an instant drink while you're in your vehicle or when you're backpacking or wherever you are. Heck, I just made chocolate milk and... It really wasn't that difficult. So I'm very glad I picked this up. No, they didn't send it to me. I picked it up myself. I was really curious if this uh, Helimex cup would actually do the job, and it seems it will. Now, I could very well fill this with water and have my other two containers filled with water and then have this attached to me, and I have to figure that out yet. But I'm going to go with a carabiner clip and put it on my shoulder so it'll be right there so I can unclip it and take it off. So it's a way of carrying extra water. And this will be my mixing glass. Now I wouldn't want to put hot beverages in this. I mean, this is plastic. I wouldn't want to put things hot in there. So I'm not sure if you really want to do that. But I usually have my titanium set anyway. So if I drink a tea, I don't drink coffee. But if I had a tea, I would probably drink it out of there anyways. But I would strictly use this for cold beverages if you want something to drink other than just water. And if you want, go check out my other video on how... This Nido milk taste, I had a video on that. A lot of people watched that. I was quite surprised. But um, this is a different idea. I mean, you got all these weightlifters and bodybuilders and crazy people that go to the gym every single day. Are probably They're buying these things and beeping themselves up on protein powder. Here I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, how oh, can I have something a little bit different on the trail? And this would be considered a luxury item is what it would be. Because you got some weight to it. Mm. How much does this weigh? Let me get the scale and I'll check that out for you. Okay, I cleaned it out and uh, I got the scale. What do we got? Um, 7.3 ounces is the. Make sure I'm reading that right. Yes, 7.3 ounces is what that cup weighs. And that's with nothing in it until you get your liquid in it. 
So that's pretty light. For 7.3 ounces, you can have yourself chocolate milk when you're on the trail or when you're camping or boating or whatever, or grapefruit juice or orange juice or whatever type of juice you want. Heck, you could even take some protein powder with you if you wanted to because, I mean, if you're hiking, you're getting a pretty good workout. And uh, you buy stuff like this, the true grapefruit. And I'll have links in the bottom for this stuff and some other stuff if you guys want to pick it up. And... Uh, Zero calories, zero sugars, you're not going to put any weight drink in that, and it's going to give your water a whole new taste. Now, like I said, do not clean this in the river water. Don't go down there and put the water, shake it, dump it, and clean it, and think, okay, it's clean. It's not. It, uh, you contaminate it is what you've done. You still want to filter your water, and then you want to use the filter water to uh, clean it or boil some water, but don't make it super, super hot, you know. Make sure it's a, uh, because you don't want to, I don't know if you can do that, if maybe it'll melt, I'm not sure. I would filter the water and then put the water in and shake it up. I just wouldn't put the water in from the river is what I would do. But this is a great way because, like I said, this thing hangs right off your carabiner on your pack. This is a great way to have um, chocolate milk, you know, or grapefruit or whatever drink you prefer and like. And uh, it's going to taste a whole lot better in water. So if you want, go check out the uh, Gila Mix cup. And these were cheap, I think 22 bucks. They were really cheap. So, and they seem pretty thick. I mean, really. For me to break that, I can bend it a little bit. I mean, if you this was to drop out of my truck and hit the pavement, I could, I could see it cracking. You know. So, but you don't have to be super, super duper careful with it. At any rate, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Links are at the bottom.